Hey everybody, this is Ben, and I am back here with the Computer Craft Challenge. We are going into episode 11. I cannot believe I'm already past 10 episodes, uh, but that's great. And since the last time, um, I have done precisely nothing in-game, but we are actually running a whole new version of Minecraft. I got version... Minecraft is 1.4.2, and Computer Craft is... Uh-oh. It's 1.46, I believe that's the version that's that's in uh, the latest version of Minecraft. Um, so I have done only a brief test here, and uh, excuse me, one second here. I getting some lag spikes. Try to um, four minutes, a little far off. All right, let's. Let's see if that, that smooths it out a little bit. Uh, so anyway, getting back to computer craft, I, I've got my, my little couple of walls here around, around the area I'm working in. And that's, that's helpful here. But I really, I really need some diamonds. And so I think what I'm going to do is I have, I'm holding my little builder buddy in my hand here. Right, there he is. Oh, look how tiny he is. Oh, it's like a little baby turtle. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I am planning here to modify Sidekick's mining program just slightly so that it, it requires just a little less intervention from me. So let's go into that. Mine. Okay, so let me get down. Actually, what? There's supposed to be. I guess that's only in the latest version of Computer Craft that what they have, um, what the Dan 200 has added is computers and monitors that are able to display color. And I mean, that's really cool. That's really, I think, going to. It's actually even got me interested, I will say. Um, but really going to increase interest in like making little games on the computer craft computers just because there's now a ton more variety in what you can display so what am I even looking for plug entrance hole program start okay so I don't need that I don't need that okay if where it says fuel here yeah yeah that's that's a good place all right so And I think that what I want here, I am going to just double check this is a term. Uh oh, no, I'm thinking of the wrong API. Okay, I, I don't know why I was blanking so much, but um, what I was thinking of was IO. So anyway, I want to loop his digging. Oops, this, this thing is, has issues with wanting double focus. Okay, so while true do, I think that's that ought to cover it. <laughs> uh, let me get down to the bottom. Oh, wait, see, then we have redneck close. I don't want that to be in the loop either. All right, so end that. Now let's go back up to where I'm actually looking at stuff here. Um, actually, hold on, hold on, because he fills the exit hole, and now I want him to move to the next position that he should dig in, and that position will always be two spaces forward. Oh, see, yeah, look at that, I missed a typo, but, but caught it, yay. Uh, so forward, turtle dot turn right turtle dot forward and then turtle dot turn left there we go so he moves two spaces forward turns goes one space to the right and then faces forward yet again For forward is not any particular direction it's just the direction he started from so uh, that will move him to the next spot and it was too far well, here we go 
while true right here. Uh, so now what I want is to say right here we're gonna do a turn that right go on mining run yes or no and then here we have take we say local we'll just say choice equals no for now whatever just whatever <laughs> i don't that's not even gonna matter because it's always gonna be overwritten by something so then choice equals io dot read um right am i Do I need to, to supply a parameter to that? See, this is, the, the the wiki on this is not clear. So actually I have had this uh, suggested to me by, by Dan200 himself that I should just do help IO. Uh, all right, that's really not helpful. <laughs> Help I O dot read. Help read. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm more or less learning Lua as I go here. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those uh, for those who didn't know, I I don't normally write in Lua, so let's just wing it. That's that's how I learn. So choice equals IO dot read. So then if choice um how do you do string I think what I want is if not choice equals yes then break all right, this is this is like a lot of winged code here, so apologies if this looks dumb. Oh, dang it! Let's save, exit. It's nighttime. I should realize from the music. Ow! Where? Die! Yikes! Oh my gosh! I was just coding away there like I was, you know, just sitting on my own PC or something. And I forgot, totally forgot. Look at there's even a creeper right there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm getting too comfortable. Oh boy. Okay, so now the, f the forward two and right one, that's the correct pattern for going in his little diagonal line here. But to get to the next, here, these torches are marking what I mined from underground. To get to the next one is that, um, yeah, yeah, that's okay from that direction. Gotcha. So let's just give this a, uh, a tr try why not so go forward um oh you know what that's the wrong way left turn forward forward right turn forward left turn left turn right whoa that was scary he disappeared for a sec there <laughs> okay is that right one two over well, I can kind of just look at the pattern here. Yeah, that's that's correct. That is correct. So then if I say here, mine, go on mining run. And I should be able to change my my mind here. I say yes. Actually, let's, let's first say no. And he doesn't give a crap. All right, so that was not right. <laughs> See his sidekick? Um, let me just go check the console real quick. <laughs> okay. Is this running? Yeah, it looks like it's running. 
Just gotta wait for him. Uh, okay, there, at depth 10. Yeah, his, his relative depth 10. Alright, so he's fine. He should be good. Um, and while he's gone, I... I will wait for him to come back, and um, so I'll, I'll be here. And in the meantime, I am going to look out what I'm doing wrong on that uh, read <laughs> part of the code there. Clearly, clearly, uh, I screwed something up. So um, be back when uh, Psychic returns. Alright, I'm back, and Sidekick has returned to the surface. He had a successful... I haven't looked inside of him, but, I mean, successful insofar as he went down, he moved, and he came back up. And uh, without intervention. And then he did, you know, move forward to, move up to here. And so now when I go in there, he says, go on mining run. And I'm like, uh, whatever. Oh my gosh, Moss Stone. Ooh... We know what that means, but we also know that means actually, ah, uh, shoot, see? He got coal. He's got charcoal for fuel still. Alright, I want your coal. He didn't grab any gravel this time. That's good. Um, cobblestone there. I will just go ahead and fill that. And this moss stone, I am going to... I'm going to go look at my console because, oddly enough, I can't tell, <laughs> looking at his interface, where he found things. But over here, hmm, I wonder if maybe I could add something. What I really should do <laughs> is make him recognize chests and suck up everything inside of them if he runs across one. That would be really cool and, and tricky, but I, I kind of want to make sure that my other, my other code is working first. So, almost the end of the day. Um, so I looked up and what I did wrong, maybe the only thing I did wrong is that I was looking at, I was doing an io.read instead of simply a read. And so I was essentially setting this choice variable equal to the function of io.read, so I don't know what the heck was going on with this, though. Alright, so that should work. Um, what I'm going to do here is... Cancelled mining. So I know if that worked... And just for now, I'm going to go ahead and just bam, exit right friggin' there. Um, and um, print. Uh, and yeah, entered Y. Okay, there. So that more or less turned my mind program into a debug program, which shouldn't actually do anything. So let's try that out. Mine, go on mining run. No. There we go. Attempt to call nil. 46. 